I'm Joe Johnson. As we launch into another edition of Beetle Brunch, a celebration of the greatest group in rock history, featuring the songs and stories of the Fab Four on stage, backstage, and in the studio. I'm Joe Johnson, and this is Beetle Brunch, spotlighting the Beatles' anthology on its anniversary. The leadoff track to Anthology One became the Beatles' first new song in 25 years. It was aired at the end of the first night's telecast and won two Grammys, Best Music Video Short Form and Best Performance by a Duo or Group with Vocal. Now here to take us through the origin and recording of Free as a Bird is Lennon artist Tim Piper. Good to have you here, Tim. Great to be here again. Hello, Beatle people. Well, today we get to talk about Free as a Bird, or as John would say on his now famous demo, Free as a Boyd. Originally recorded in 1977, just John and his piano at the Dakota. The idea for the Beatles anthology had been gathering steam. And in 1994, Paul goes to New York to induct John into the Hall of Fame. He then visits Yoko and Sean where they discuss the idea. And Yoko takes the opportunity to present Paul with the cassette, which is to become the single. George Martin had been originally asked to produce the single, but due to his lack of hearing, he gracefully turned down the project. And George Harrison brought in Jeff Lynne to do the job. Free as a bird It's the next best thing to be Free as a bird Ringo, George, and Paul each added their instrumentation and arrangement ideas to complete the song. They had previously agreed that without the four of them, they would never record again as the Beatles. So respectively, Paul and George took turns on the bridge. Whatever happened to the lives that we once knew? Did we really live without each other? What happened to the touch Seemed to mean so much Always made me feel so old And in typical Beatles fashion, at the end of the song, we hear George strumming the ukulele, which he liked to play often. And you hear Lennon's voice, backwards, saying a George Formby catchphrase, turned out nice again. And once again... The Beatles are reunited. Tim, that was amazing. Beetle Brunch listeners can join you and me on board the Allure of the Seas, February 1st through 8th, sailing out of Fort Lauderdale. We'll record a live edition of Beetle Brunch on board, much like you've done for us today. Thanks for being on the show again this week, Tim. Thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure. Brought to you by the Beetle Brunch Club. It's the place where Beetle fans get together to listen to the show on demand with deluxe tracks, not broadcast. Plus, go back in time and hear old brown shows, Beetle Brunches from 20 years ago today and before. Join up for just pennies a day at brunchradio.com.